Hey everybody, welcome back to the Manga Geekdom. Today we're doing another haul video for the month of May 2023. Lots of cool stuff coming your way, so let's get started. We're going to begin the haul video with this box set right here for Pokemon Adventures Diamond and Pearl Platinum. I kind of got tired of waiting for the collector's editions. I don't know if they're going to put out more. I assume they slowed down because of sales, probably. With these things, you can never know. They might not put them out anytime soon, or the announcement could be right around the corner. Either way, I kind of got tired of the wait, like I said, and decided to pick this up. Fortunately, it's still readily available, but thankfully, found it from an eBay seller. Brand new, sealed when I got it, and I believe I paid less than 50 bucks for it. I can't remember the exact number off the top of my head, but it was something like that. Out of the, I believe this was a $90 MSRP. And this is one of the flimsiest, crappiest box sets that I've ever owned. It's falling apart on me, as you're seeing here. Uh, the glue on this side is coming undone, but fortunately, I'm not gonna move this around too much and it's gonna stay in place and uh, won't be too much of a hassle. And I've never read Gen 4 material, so I'm really excited to read the adaptation for those games. Speaking of Pokemon, let's keep that train rolling. And here we have Pokemon Adventures Black and White Volume 1. When I ordered this, I made sure I got the right one. And when it arrived, I was shocked and for a minute completely forgot about my research on it and said, wait, did I did I screw up? Did I get the pocket editions? But no, it's the right cover. It's the right ISBN number. So I did get it right. I was not aware that volume one was so thin compared to the rest of the series. And honestly, I don't think we're going to get deluxe collector's editions for the black and white stuff anytime soon. Obviously, we would have to do Gen 4 first, right? Regardless, the art is fun and I love how different the stories can be compared to the video games and of course compared to the anime adaptation as well. I really enjoy the twist that Adventures brings to the table. So let's keep the Viz hype train going for a little bit. I finally found in the wild a copy of Yuji Kaku's Hell's Paradise Volume 1. Really awesome. I remember when this first came out, I believe it was early 2020. It was the first printing of this and I really wanted it and for some reason I, I don't know what happened that I couldn't get it, and then it went out of print for a good while. You couldn't get these books. And then they started printing everything back again and all that stuff, and now it's a little bit easier. However, I will admit, this is not a priority purchase for me. I do want to own this series, but I'm in no rush for like FOMO to get the best of me. And I, I guess I'll wait. Whenever I see volume two out in the wild, I'll, I'll pick it up. From Kodansha, I, well, I was going to say finally got all of Battle Angel Alita Last Order. That's not technically true, but at least with these omnibus editions, like the really thick ones, this is the final one here, Volume 5 from Last Order. From here, I need to get, I believe it was four more uh, single volumes. One of them is hard to find, but that's okay. At least I have the majority of the series and the other single volumes you can get for cheap. So I'm not too concerned about that. I don't know what the heck is going on in this series. I have not read anything from Last Order, so I shouldn't be browsing too much into what's happening in this uh, particular volume here, Volume 5. But yeah, really excited that I'm almost done, or at least collecting, uh, Battle Angel Alita Last Order. Really cool. Here it is, Gantz Omnibus Volume 12. This is a foreign one. It's a thick boy right here, collecting the final four volumes of Gantz, one of the best manga sci-fi stories that I've ever read. I genuinely love this series. I've never read the conclusion of this, obviously. This will be my first time, so I'm very much looking forward to seeing how it all ends and, and all that stuff. And um, a lot of people want this series to be reprinted in deluxe hardcovers. I don't know if these sell as well as people might think, and obviously this is a brand new product and it doesn't make sense for you to release this now and immediately announce a hardcover. So I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. And I am honestly content with having these uh, chunky uh, omnibus editions. Now this is probably going to be a little controversial, 
I made an order, got some bookends. I realized that there was an extra book that I did not get. And they sent me an extra copy here of My Youth Romantic Comedy is Wrong as I Expected. This is volume 19. This is published by Yen Press. I've only watched a handful of episodes from the anime adaptation. By the time I realized the box had already been crushed and I had thrown it out and, uh... I guess I got a free book and I think I'll keep it and because I do remember liking the show. So what I think I'm going to do here is similar to Hell's Paradise. I'm going to uh, put this off for now and eventually if I need to round out an order for free shipping or something or I'm bored and see this out in the wild and find volume one, maybe I'll pick it up. Who knows? It wasn't until I started grouping everything together to record this video that I noticed I hauled a ton of Seven Seas books. We got Level 1 Demon Lord and One Room Hero Volume 3. I recently talked about uh, the first one in a video. I am impressed by this series. It really does have some charming characters that I'm kind of fond of already, you know, with two volumes in. So I'm looking forward to reading more adventures. Obviously, with comedy series like this, the majority of the book is going to be episodic in nature, but that's okay. And more than makes up for it with the really cool art that I'm showing off here. Now, this one is a little spicy. I can't show you too much inside. Here is Succubus and Hitman Volume 4. I genuinely like this series. It's kick-ass, action fun. It has a lot of not safe for work stuff that will get me demonetized and probably banned if I showed it off. Uh, but I can show you the cover and the spicy back cover, which uh, was a little bit awkward. I don't think I have any books with such risque art <laughs> on, on the cover. If you don't mind macabre themes like it, I think you'll be fine with Succubus and Hitman. Volume 5 of Yakuza Reincarnation. I have to admit, I'm a little behind on this series, but I'll catch up quick. It's a fun read here. You know, it's a nice twist on the isekai genre with the biggest selling point that I can tell you about is the gorgeous art from Hiroki Miyashita. Love the art on this series. Kemono Jihen, Volume 5. I missed getting this last month and waited until now. I believe this particular volume deals with Akira and his backstory with his older brother, which was really cool and tragic at the same time. And it's kind of based on the Yuki Ona, just a, a little bit. Obviously, they got ice powers and, and yokai themed and whatnot, but I, I really enjoyed their story and made for some compelling drama for uh, the young kids here on the detective agency. I talked about this in one of my previous videos. Here is Sword of the Demon Hunter Kijin Gintosho Volume 2. Really excited to check this out. I was surprised at how much I liked Volume 1 and this looks much more action-packed and heavy. I can't wait to see what happens. Love the art, love the book with the textured feel. Can't wait. Looks awesome in my opinion. Over here we got Die Dark Volume 5. This came out a while ago. Unfortunately, I think it was Volume 4 that I pre-ordered from Right Stuff weeks before the release date and I, I never got the shipment right away and it went out of stock and I had to wait, I think it was like three or four months until I can get a copy. And this happened with Volume 5. Fortunately, the wait was only a month and uh, it shipped by itself and I recently got it just in time for this video. But yeah, Die Dark Volume 5. I need to reread this series because I stopped, uh, I think I stopped at like Volume 3 or something, but with so much going on in my life, I kind of don't remember a lot of things about this. So I need to go go back and um, give this another shot because I do love the art. I think it is Hayashida's best uh, artistic work in my opinion. Maybe that's a hot take. I do prefer the art here just a little bit more than with Doro Hedoro, but cool stuff. And I do want to point out towards the end here that it does include the crossword puzzle, which is one of the most unique extras for a manga release in my opinion. And one Yen Press book. It is, of course, Kowloon Generic Romance Volume 3. Loved the first two. Talked about it on the channel. Can't wait to find out more about what's happening in this story. Art on this is just breathtakingly beautiful. I love it. That's one of my favorite reads right now this year. Really a great release by the folks at Yen Press. Can't wait to dive into this one. This was one of my most anticipated books of February, The Valiant Must Fall 
from Seven Seas, a samurai series with a sci-fi twist. And I don't remember what exactly happened, but I couldn't get the book at the time. And eventually three months passed until recently where I was at Walmart and they were selling it, which surprised the heck out of me. I'm like, oh, okay, the Valiant must fall. I see a lot of people on the internet complaining that all they see out there is Viz and Kodansha books. And I was very happy to spot a Seven Seas book. So I picked it up right away. I'm like, yes, okay, I'll, I'll grab it. I'm actually going to do a video on this because I think it's pretty cool and it will probably go under the radar for a lot of people. There's so much stuff coming out, not everything gets its 15 minutes of fame in the spotlight, right? Only one anime this time around, and it is the second half of the first season for Mushiko Tensei. Really happy that I own this. I decided that since I don't really read light novels, sorry to those of you that do, nothing against it, I just got too much stuff going on. I decided to collect the series via the anime Blu-rays. The manga from what I've read online and some Reddit posts and uh, social media stuff, people complain that the manga isn't the best adaptation and they seem to prefer the anime. I'd rather at least own it in one format and I chose the Blu-ray. So yeah, there we go. Mushiko Tensei, Jobless Reincarnation, Season 1, Part 2. And I believe the second season should be starting up soon as of this video. So there you go. That is the final spring haul, if you will. I made it a three-parter series because I knew there were going to be smaller hauls. I wasn't grabbing as many books as other times, and I am happy about the results. Lately, I think it's about quality over quantity, in my opinion. <laughs> but what do you guys think? Did you enjoy this haul? Did you hate it? Let me know in the comment section. Also, let me know if you picked up anything that uh, is interesting. Let me know as well. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. God bless. Stay safe out there. I will catch all of you on our next video.